So, you know, y'all been coming for me in the comments. I don't address all, all of the comments because I know what I'm here to do and why I'm here to do it. And one of the main things that I hear that always tickles me a bit is, oh, you just moved to South Africa so you could be in a place like America. Is South Africa the real Africa? In this video, I'm gonna address it. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. On my channel, Ashley in Africa, I talk of my experience living and doing business here on the continent of Africa. I currently live in South Africa, Johannesburg to be exact, and I'm spending the holiday and have been spending the last week in the village of Masinga with my family and my host family. And if this content sounds interesting to you, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with someone who finds value in it. So I'm currently in the village, um, staying with my host family. They're amazing. They've been so hospitable and just exposing us to all sorts of culture. So you're gonna hear background noises because there is about a dozen and a half of us here in the house. Um, you can even see a traditional house back here. One of the workers, I think his, his friend is here, so I don't wanna like, be all up in their conversation but you'll hear goats you'll hear cows you're going to hear chickens you're gonna hear noise um and it's so beautiful obviously you will also see some of the sh the the area that i'm sharing but we're in the city of Masinga, formerly known as pomeroy changed this past november to solomon linda so south africans you know solomon linda some people all around the world know solomon linda as a global south african musician this town was recently changed to his name um, and my host family was all a part of that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not South Africa is the real South Africa and the answer, excuse me, whether South Africa is the real Africa. And the answer is absolutely yes. South Africa has so many provinces. I want to, I, I don't, it's nine. 11, please correct me in the comments, um, but that will give you so much. And while I live in the province of Hauteng, where Johannesburg is, this is the province of KZN, KwaZulu-Natal, KwaZulu the Zulu Kingdom, and it's so beautiful and also so very spiritual. So I'm going to jump into it. Yes, South Africa is the real Africa, and here's why. Culture culture is everywhere in this country whether you're in the city of Hauteng of Johannesburg or not um, and so in addition to us being here for Christmas Boxing Day um, one of the cousins had decided to give thanks to his grandmother who is also here buried on the land and there was a cultural experience, a cultural uh, a gratitude ceremony, which was so beautiful. I was so honored to be a part of it. Um, essentially, he has an entrepreneur who's been doing really well in his business and wanted to give thanks to his grandmother. And we did that. And he invited us graciously as guests to participate. And it was so beautiful. Today, we're, we're going to be going to a Zulu dance competition at the stadium. Um, and yes, the culture is in the villages in the rural areas but it's also very much in the city and i felt very connected to the culture which is a thousand percent why i chose south africa as home um my background in economic development has shown me that there are three reasons typically why people do migrate to places because of culture because of career opportunities and because of communities um, communities can be uh based on you know what you like to do but also communities can look like where you live right so they can be a state but they can also be communities of you know a certain i don't want to say sexual orientation but yeah like community of lgbtq plus if people are into that then they're gonna seek that out if they're into art and music you hear the babies crying. I told you there'll be some background noise. There's a lot of us here. Um, but culture is a number one reason why people decide to migrate to a place, whether they know it or not, right? Um, migrate and stay. Some people will migrate for career. Some people will migrate for uh, community, as I mentioned. But culture tends to be the reason why people migrate and stay. And culture is very much present 
here in the country of South Africa, not just in the village, but for sure here in the village as well. Um, the tradition, so as I mentioned, the ceremonies that we were able to partake in yesterday, um, the traditional farming, the traditional leadership. So KwaZulu Natal, KZN, is still under traditional rule, meaning that there are kings, there is a royal family, a kingdom, but also chiefs. And under those chiefs, you know, different people that delegate in these different blocks, right? But traditional rule um, is a part of this country. It's fabric, right? So you just can't say, oh, because there's these major cities that may not operate under that leadership, but it's still very much prevalent in this country. And I want to say not so much in many of the others. So tradition, something is very strong and present here in South Africa, one of the reasons why it is the real Africa. The next thing is language. So in KZN, KwaZulu Natal, uh, Zulu, Isi Zulu is the main language that's spoken. Most people do speak English, but there are some people that don't, right? Which is also super dope. That level of sovereignty that I'm going to get into later, um, you know, the, the indigenous language is still spoken. Can we say this about all countries, all major cities uh, on the continent of Africa? I don't know, um, but it is very much prevalent. It is rich. My host family, they're speaking it. They feel very comfortable speaking. Um, the children are also speaking Zulu and even if they don't speak English, right? And I love that. I love that um, I'm able to learn more things since I've been here. Um, I haven't spoken much because I'm also very intimidated, but it's been lovely to hear my daughters greeting um, elders in Zulu and it's just warming my heart. Is this resonating? Are you finding this valuable? Please like the video and share it with someone else who would find value in it. The next thing is spirituality. Um, and so the ceremony that we partook in was a traditional ceremony based on, you know, traditional Zulu spirituality, honoring ancestors um, and getting to partake in that. And it was such a beautiful experience. Zanaya gave the blessing for um, during Christmas dinner. And it was very, um, I was so proud of her because she gave a beautiful blessing and our host also, <laughs> there's goats walking by um just just pop it up just come in to say hey and she didn't mention you know in jesus name we pray and that's beautiful to me because um we pray always we know how to honor people in their spaces and our host family found value in that prayer being so special so loving so filled with love and compassion minus um, you know, the traditional religion that many people are exposed to. And so that was just really, really beautiful and something that I'm just in awe of that I've been able to impart that on the girls while they can be gracious and have love and have gratitude and be good people. And they also recognize the importance of honoring their ancestors and honoring the presence of people around them. Um, and Z, she also partook in the, in the ceremony honoring her ancestors as well. And it was just bomb, just so, 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 so beautiful. And the last thing, um, that I feel makes South Africa the real Africa is the sovereignty. Many people may, you know, disagree on this and I can totally understand and I don't, I know I don't know the entire scope of it, but being here in KwaZulu-Natal and seeing how the terrain is set up, right? The mountains and the valleys, like it's so clear to me how um, the battles of 1879 how they must have happened and how the zulu kingdom was so successful in defeating the british the only defeat of the british on record in january of 1879 but also how they eventually did um lose to the british in that july but how they've since then been able to retain their culture retain their land take back their land and retain some of their indigenous language spirituality and the like and you know farming and so 
you know, there there's just a level of sovereignty when we were riding through one of the towns. I mentioned how, wow, like I just love seeing black people and the absence of white people. And um, one of the guests was just like, oh, you know, that's controversial, but really said something else. But I said, it's not about them. It's about the sovereignty of African people that they've been able to maintain a space for themselves in this country. Despite all of the tragic things that have happened to the South African people, there is a sovereignty here in KZN that I've experienced, that I'm experiencing for the first time being here in South Africa. Um, that sovereignty reminds me of why I chose to live here in South Africa. So. Is South Africa the real Africa? Absolutely, and so much more. It is luxury, it is tradition, it is culture, it is sovereign, it is spirituality, it is family, it's tradition, and it's village, right? You hear the music going, Leso. So, uh, I'm gonna sign off here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you have questions, I'd love to answer them. Until the next video. I'll see you soon.